So here's our original circuit. Looks something like this. I'm going to try to solve with four resistors, right? The first thing you should notice is that these two are in series, right? 60, 80. So we're going to combine those two together to simplify that. So as you add them, simply add them. That should give you a circuit that looks something like this, 40, 20, and 140. The next thing you should notice is the 20 and 140 are in parallel. So you can do the 1 over R plus 1 over R equals 1 over R. How should the resistance compare to the 20 and the 140? Should be smaller, right? And in fact it is. You get 17.5 for that combo. We're leaving the 40 alone. And then lastly, these are in series. So we're going to combine those two together and we're left with one single resistor, 57.5. So if I asked you for the equivalent resistance, that would be it, okay? 57.5 is the equivalent resistance. All right, now we're just going to work our way backwards. We're going to get onto the more and more challenging circuits as we go. So the first one is 115 over 57.5. I equals V over R means 115 over 57.5 is 2 amps. So 2 amps is our total current. So if I asked you for the total current, you would say 2 amps. We're going to place that known info onto here. So that's 2 amps. Series circuits, we know get only one current. So there's 2 amps through the 40, 2 amps through here as well. Now one of the things I would recommend is kind of starting to fill in your table as you go. So for example, we just found the 2 amps, the 40, uh, 2 amps through the 40 ohms. So I could write 2 amps right here as I went. And we're missing the voltage, so we're going to use our Ohm's law of V equals IR to find the voltage. So we got 2 times 40, that's 80 volts. Again, I am going to start filling this in as I go. 80 volts. So if the problem, all they asked you was what's the voltage across the 40, you could stop here. You don't have to solve everything. You're done and move on to the next problem. In fact, we could do the power too, 160. All right, we are missing the voltage over here. We're going to use V equals IR. We're going to go 2 times 17.5, and we're going to get what? 35. Okay, so that's 35 volts across 17.5. So I can't really fill this in, right? Because that 17.5 is its own, it's an equivalent. Let's place what we know over here. We know that the 2 amps was going through here. We know that this was 80. You don't have to do this because we already put it in our table, but I'm going to do it just so we have it. So remember, these were in parallel, so they get one voltage. So that's 35 volts across there. So were either of these one of my originals? The 20 ohm was one of my originals, right? So I could fill that in. So that's 35 volts right there. We're missing the current through each branch. So we're going to use I equals V over R. So we have 35 over 20. So what's that? 1.75. So that's 1.75. And I can fill that one in, 1.75 amps. Let's do it on the other side. So this time we're going to go 35 over 140. And that is how much? 0.25. Yeah. So that's going to be 0.25. Always do the mini check. 1.75, 0.25 equals 2. OK, so let's go place what we know over here. So this was 1.75. This was 2. This was 80, and this was 35. And we found, just found that current, so 0 0.25 through that branch. So notice we can now find 0.25. We can enter this, I guess, 0 0.25, 0 0.25. And then the only thing that's missing is the voltage across both of these. So we're going to use Ohm's law, V equals IR. So 0.25 times 60, 15 volts. 
15 volts and 0.25 times 80 20 20 volts what's the last mini check we can do what should these two add up to the 35 right so the 20 plus the 15 should add up to that total 35 Okay, can someone fill these in for me? What's the 20 going to be for power? And the 60? 3.75. And the 20? Which one is the brightest? 40. Okay. Again, this one gets the maximum current, right? All the current goes through here. Here they start to split off. Which one's in second place? 20. These two have to divide up their voltages. This gets one big voltage, okay, with compared to these two. And then these are little guys, right? Why is 80 bigger than 60? Because it has more voltage, because in series circuits, the higher the resistance, the greater the voltage. 